everybody wants to get down like that. What is Crackalike like in YouTube? This is Boy Deshaun, and today I will be going over a jailbreak tweak that will allow you to use Bluetooth enabled controllers to play games on your iOS device, whether it be a PSP emulator, NDS for iOS, or GBA for iPhone. You know, all those emulators that work on this iPhone will be able to use, utilize this um, little tweak here. And, um, some things that you're going to need before you um, even start this tutorial one you're going to need to be jailbreak and that's very important this does work on the latest version of ios 8.1.2 so that's good to know just in case you're on the latest build um any device that you basically have you can use this tweak so I, i'm using this on the iphone 6 which you, but i've also used this on the ipod touch fifth generation or the ipad latest ipad so that's also a thing now the controller that i'm going to be using in this tutorial is the um playstation 4 controller but you can also use things like the, the, uh, the nintendo wii u uh, gamepad pro or whatever and you know other controllers that you buy online that's bluetooth enabled so without further ado i'm just going to open up city now once you head into city you want to go to sources and at the top right corner there will be a little edit button so you click edit then add and add this source or if you have another reliable source you can probably skip this step if you already know what you're doing but i use this source because it's very reliable it keeps your um tweaks up to date and i will have this link in the description below I'm just going to put that in and once you click add source and you click to the top right it's going to say confirm you want to confirm that and it will install this source basically but once you've done that then you want to go over to the search tab and look for controllers for all now this controller for all is a paid app and you could you know support the developer and you know get the paid app but i'm not going to do that but yeah you go to the free one that i just provided for you click confirm and click install and it will install your device and uh once you're done it will be require a respring so you're going to do that Now, once you restarted your springboard, you want to go into your settings app and uh, go scroll all the way down to where it says controllers for all. And then you want to click enable. Now, you want to get your controller prepared because this is where we're going to start to prepare our controllers. And here are the different options that you can use PS3, PS4, Wii U Pro, iPad, the Whammo. I don't know what those things are, but you can use the all these different things. And once you got your controller ready, you want to click compare controller and then does what it says on the screen so every controller is going to be different but it's basically like syncing it up with an actual console so i'm pretty sure the playstation 4 you press the playstation button and the uh, share button and it will sync the controller for you which is really cool because you don't need a computer so once you've done this and sync it up all right you're pretty much ready and good to go all you need to do is just head out and go to a emulator Once you go to the emulator, you will get a notification at the top and it tells you that when you need to, you know, press the sync button. And it's basically like, you know, um, syncing it up with a, uh, you know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You know, you can turn it on. You press the PlayStation button and it will connect the controller and it will tell you when the controller is connected. And then once your controller is connected, you can start up any game, whether it be NDS for iOS, PP, SSPP, GBA, um, GBA for iOS 2. Uh, you know, most of the popular apps will support this uh, little technique, jailbreak tweak. And me, I uploaded or I, you know, used a game, Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai on PPSSPP. And I'm just going to show you, you know, how it works. It's basically really cool. It's just basically setting your controller um, to work up on your iOS device as if it was a console. And, um,. There is no lag, there is no input lag or anything. It's pretty cool. You can't use the touchpad for the PlayStation 4, sadly. You can't use this technique for the Xbox One controller because it is not Bluetooth enabled. It uses something entirely different. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And if you have any problems with uh, syncing and things, go back into the settings and um, restart BStat. And once you actually close the app, the controller will automatically disconnect from your console or your ios device so yeah that was basically it if you have any questions you know leave a comment in the comment section below if you like the video give it a like so more people can see this and um yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos uh this is your boy Sean, and i will see you guys later peace